am trying to continue Ntozake Shange's legacy of telling stories of women of color and telling it in, in a very deep and meaningful and universal way. I transformed spaces with brown butcher paper. I likened it to skin. It's at once fragile and durable. And when I think of the black and brown skin, who we are as people, people of the diaspora, we are fragile, but we are strong. Look at what we have been through and we are still here. There's an entry point for the viewer uh, to enter at many different points. The paper draws you in, three different videos, and they're talking about so, so many heavy, important issues in a way that is artistic and relatable. And then you have these beautiful, regal-looking uh, mannequin heads. And then, in addition, you have the archival material um, from the library that gives uh, context to the exhibition and a historical perspective in looking back at uh, Ntozake Shange's amazing creation for colored girls who considered suicide when the rainbow is enough. Last summer, I had the pleasure of going to see the play at the Public Theater. Ntozake Shange's message to women was that of empowerment, of that of being seen and heard. My message to women is um, about rec reclamation. Um, we go through things, but how we go through them and how we attend to what we go through and come out on the other side is important. Lady in Green is talking about somebody walked off with all of my stuff. She's not only talking about the man in her life, but she's talking about systemic racism. She's talking about notions of whiteness. She's talking about power structures that keep women like her oppressed. This work is so poignant now because we're living in a time where black women are feeling unheard, underrepresented, not seen, not listened to. So I think this work um, allows a space for that to be true. Barnard College is Ntozake Shange's uh, alma mater. And the significance of being here, this is where her archives live. So this is where part of her legacy is. The things that she was talking about in For Colored Girls are issues that are universal. It's not the first time we're dealing with issues of domestic violence or racism or sexism. And so you look back at what she was writing in the uh, 70s and you can see how, wow, there, there's a history to this and there's someone who was brave enough to speak out. And so when you see this installation, you, you see that, uh, that celebration of who she was and, and what she did and how many people she inspired. Mm -hmm.